So I, would, I returned from the, the, the meeting of the American neurologists in Philadelphia where the mood very much is that we're trying to be too clever by defining these syndromes so early on in our understanding of the disease and we should just send off the antibodies. Um, I, there are a couple of caveats around that though. And we know that there's a significant uh, proportion of NMA cases who don't have the aquaporin 4 antibody and we have these other putative antibodies, anti-mold and so on, who, whose status isn't quite yet established. So, so personally, I'm going to hold to a conservative line here suggest that if you think it's regular optic neuritis and it recovers fully, then I wouldn't do the test. That's quite a big caveat, isn't it? If you think it is, and it recovers fully, yes. because uh, that means waiting. Um, you've still got this anxious patient who's wondering what's wrong with them, and they're coming back and um, bothering people because perhaps it's even getting worse after the initial visit. So I think by waiting, I mean three weeks. So I think if we, uh, you know, if between us, we're worried about a patient for three weeks and we see no sign of recovery, then that's the time to intervene. Yeah, I mean, those of you who were here uh, the other day and heard Nancy Newman's overview, uh, she mentioned as one of the things, this issue of bilaterality, of, of no recovery.